Good morning, beautiful, beautiful humans, and welcome back to another episode of Daily J. I'm so, so honored that you're here and that you've chosen to spend your morning with me this morning and just praying that we can deliver some really, really valuable content that is going to help you coming into the end of 2018 and into the new year, 2019. So um, this is really, the topic that we're gonna speak about today is has been coming up a lot for me in the last few weeks, especially coming into the end of the year. And I thought it might be really relevant for a lot of us as we take stock of everything that we've achieved, everything that we've done, all the things that we've felt and all the things that have happened over the last 12 months before we move into the new year and before we start setting, morning beautiful Danny, before we start setting those amazing goals. A lot of us are sort of taking stock of everything that's happened over the last 12 months and really assessing how we measure up against what we believe to be these expectations that we set for ourselves or these pedestals that we put ourselves on for the year. And a lot of the time it can be a really daunting experience. A lot of the time we feel like we don't measure up. We had all these, we went into the year with all these high aspirations and hopes and expectations and dreams and visions and goals for the new year. And a lot of the time we didn't stack up or we didn't measure up or we didn't hit what we thought we would hit. We didn't reach the targets we thought we would reach. We didn't achieve the goals that we thought we would attain. We didn't make the progress we wanted to make. And it can be this sort of self really deflating, like self, um, uh, really like self depreciating process where we kind of beat ourselves up about it, right? We get into this state of like, it must be because I wasn't good enough. It must be because I wasn't worthy. It must be because I didn't try hard enough. It must be because I didn't, um, I didn't like do enough. It must be because I didn't really want it. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today because I don't know, I've been so caught up so many years previous to this. I've been so caught up in this. Well, why didn't I achieve that? And where did I go wrong? And um, focus so much and so wholeheartedly and so contently on the things I didn't do that it's kind of created this, yeah, this self-deprecating process that just makes me feel like crap. So I wanted to speak some light and some truth into that this morning because so many of us, hi, beautiful Elle, because so many of us coming into the end of the year it can be really easy to fall into that trap and fall into the process of going, okay, why didn't I get what I want? Why didn't I make the progress that I wanted to make? And the question that I want to pose to you guys today and the question that I always, always, always ask myself, if ever there's something that hasn't worked out the way or hasn't panned out the way I thought it would, hasn't worked out the way that I wanted it to work out, hasn't, I haven't reached the goals that I set for myself, The only question that I ever ask when I don't get something that I want is, why didn't I want it? Why didn't I really want it? So we know, and I know that, and you guys watching this know, that we are constantly creating our reality. Everything we do, everything we say, every thought that we think, we're manifesting into existence. Um, Whatever it is that we're thinking, whatever it is that we're saying, and whatever it is that we're feeling, the most powerful way that we create our own reality is through the emotions in our body and the way that we feel each and every day and in every moment of every day. So knowing that and anchoring into the really the empowerment of that, knowing that what happens when we don't get what we want, what happens when what we're seeing in our reality doesn't match up with what we think that we're creating with our thoughts, with our mind, with our words and with these feelings that we're putting out. So we're always creating on three levels, right? We're creating on a super conscious, a soul level, a subconscious, a mind level. And again, our subconscious um, thought patterns were ones that were created within the first seven years of our lives a lot of the time. So a lot of the time it's not what we are consciously thinking out here, it's what we're unconsciously programmed to create within here, within our subconscious mind and on a conscious level. So our thoughts that we're thinking, the thoughts that we're very much aware of, the thoughts that we can sit back and observe if we want to be that from that Buddhist third party observer perspective, the thoughts that we can observe. So we've got a super conscious, a subconscious and a conscious level. And the most powerful manifesting or the most powerful conscious creation comes when all of those things are in perfect alignment. So we're creating the same things, we're creating the same experiences, the same feelings, the same processes and thoughts on all three levels at once. And often what happens when we don't get what we want is that there's been a glitch, there's been a misalignment, there's been something along the way, something out of 
whack in those three things where maybe on a conscious level we were telling ourselves we wanted it maybe even on a subconscious level we kind of wanted it but on a super conscious or a soul level there was no freaking way that it was in alignment with what we wanted and this has been a really big thing for me this year in working out what it is that I really truly deeply desire on a soul level not what I think I want not what my unconscious brain tells me that I want because a lot of the time that's based on the six human needs certainty uncertainty um, connection growth significance and contribution right but what do I really want on a soul level and I want to pose this question to you guys this morning <laughs> I want to pose this question to you guys this morning and that's exactly it Danny as you're commenting now why didn't I want it like the only question that we never ever need to ask when we didn't get something that we really really wanted and the only question that I will ever ask now when I don't get something that I really really wanted is why didn't I want it why wasn't it in alignment for me why am I so freaking glad that I didn't get it that it didn't manifest in my reality there's been so many examples of this and I could go into I could go into so many examples and I will if you guys want me to later in the comments or whatever in another video but there's been so many examples for me this year, especially where I look back and I'm like, you know what, I, I got exactly what I wanted. Even if my mind said that I didn't, even if my subconscious was screaming at me going, you know what, this isn't what we wanted. This isn't what we were creating on a soul level. I got exactly the experience that I was seeking to have. I got exactly the experience that I was creating um, on a super conscious level. And that doesn't mean that we can't change what it is that we want. But for me, the process has been stripping all of this conscious stuff back to get to, okay, what on a soul level is the experience that I'm really desiring to have? So what would I want if I didn't have anything to prove? What would I really want if I didn't have anything, anyone to impress, anything to validate, anything to justify, anything to defend? If I didn't have anything that I was trying to prove, if I didn't have to hustle for my worthiness, if I could just relax into this beautiful non-striving grace where it's just, there is no striving in grace, you guys. There is no, I need to get this, I want to have this. There is just bliss and there's just divine surrender. There's desire, but it comes from a really, really pure place. But if I didn't get what I want, why didn't I want it? And why am I so freaking glad that I didn't get it? And from there, why? And from there, we can when we can strip it all back and say, what would I really want? That's where desire comes from. It's like, what would I really want if I didn't have anything to prove? What would I really want if I didn't have anything to justify? If I didn't have anything to defend? If I didn't have any expectations to live up to? If I wasn't seeking anyone else's approval? What would I really want? And that's when we start to strip all the layers back. That's where we override the conscious, where we even override the subconscious and we get to that beautiful super conscious level of that place of pure desire. That to me is the most powerful place that we can create from. And that's what we're trying to strip it all back to this year. So please, if you're feeling disheartened towards the end of the year, just know that there's absolutely nothing that you can't create, but the most important things that you're ever going to create in this lifetime and the most important message and truth and power and intention that you're going to bring to the world is going to be coming from that deep soul place. So connect, tune in, ask yourself, if I didn't get what I want, why didn't I really, why didn't I really want it? Why am I so glad that I didn't get it? And what would I really want and what would I really desire and what would I really do be, have and create if... I didn't have anything to prove, if I didn't have anything to justify, if I did not have anything to defend. Um, that's, yeah, if I wasn't seeking approval or validation from anyone. That's what I'm anchoring into um, this time of year. And that's what I would encourage all of you beautiful guys and girls to anchor into as well. So that's my end of year practice. That's, hi Tom, hi Miranda. That's my end of year practice. That's what I'm speaking into existence at the end of this year. And that's what I wanted to speak over you guys this morning. So if there's anything you didn't get, like if, if there's anything that you didn't um, create this year that you really wanted to create or manifest or experience this year that you really wanted, um, that's the process that I'm using to anchor into. That's the process that I'm using to strip it all back. And please, please, please don't beat yourself up about it. Please don't get into the, the guilt and the shame and it's because I wasn't good enough and the stories around inadequacy or insecurity or fear or self-doubt or um, trying to justify like why it is that you didn't do what you wanted to do. Tap into that beautiful deep soul place. 
why didn't I get what I why didn't I get what I want why didn't I really want it and what can I create of that beautiful place of pure desire um, nothing to prove nothing to defend nothing to justify and no approval that I need to no one's approval that I need to seek um, I love you guys so so much I hope you're having the most beautiful Monday and I cannot wait to chat to you soon I'll see you next time for another episode of Daily J bye honeys